entering week 26 of my pregnancy. In this course of time, which is crazy to think about, I'm six months pregnant, I've learned a lot about myself. And in this video, specifically, I'm talking about things that I've learned of fears, of excitements, and how I am interpreting them going forward in my home life, in my business and career goals, and overall, the type of person and mother that I want to be. So those who have been following my pregnancy journey, there's just been a lot I've experienced up to date. First trimester, honestly, there was a lot of imposter syndrome, questioning, am I ready to be a mom? A lot of fears around, can I show up the best for me, for my baby, and then also my family and my community. As I started to dissect a little bit more, a lot of it comes down to the unknowns. And a lot of people in general have fears around the unknowns. One thing that helped me a lot was reincorporating my journaling practice, but actually giving it focus and time to some of these fears. So if you've ever worked with a counselor or a therapist, Usually one of the pieces of advice they will give is you need to be aware of your subconscious. So what are the things you think about without even knowing it? How do you respond to people when they do something and you have a subconscious reaction? Are you aware of what those are? And that's something I've really tried to dig deeper into as I've gotten further along in the pregnancy is what are some of these unconscious behaviors or thoughts that I have. And I'll be honest with you, that's what actually led me to realize I've had a lot of depression, is there's a lot of family wounds, ancestral wounds if you want to call them that, I have kept under wraps for a long time. In doing so, the idea was to protect myself. That's usually why we have feelings, and this is why we respond in certain ways, is to protect ourselves. But even when it comes down to our feelings, we are not our feelings. They serve us a purpose, and they give us something to be aware of. So that's what's first and foremost, is I've learned to be hyper vigilant in understanding my patterns, understanding these subconscious fears, and putting more time into learning how to resolve them. I personally believe it almost is a lifelong endeavor to overcome traumas, to heal, to resolve these subconscious pieces of yourself, right? Some people call it the shadow side. And honestly, that's actually a great analogy for my whole pregnancy experience has evoked the shadow side within me and this isn't a bad thing. We have to have both. Duality is important. That's what creates life, it is life and death. We have to have the light and the dark. We have to have both. And no longer avoiding that is helping me to more so appreciate the light in my life and make more time for light and brightness and vibrancy when I do make time to analyze and sit in the dark, even if it's by myself. Something else that has really come up for me during this pregnancy is my need for control through my life has definitely served a great purpose and has definitely been a keystone to who I've become as a person. And a lot of that has created some of the issues that I face on a day-to-day -day basis. So in thinking about this, I have come to my 2024 intention of surrender, of being able to observe, pause, allow what is coming to come and in a few months that's going to be a baby and seeing that as more so an opportunity to be my best self to lean into my life that i've neglected areas of my life that i've brushed under the rug that need addressed for a more positive well-being one of the best terms I use to describe this would be self-actualization. Taking that time to better recognize who I am now, not who I was, but who I am now, and who is this being, this spirit evolving into. And actually, uh, something really cool that happened in December, we had found out that we were having a girl, and I had a lot of anxiety about it. And I don't think I've posted this publicly. I was really troubled because I felt such a deep connection to this boy energy. Then I started to feel less connected to the baby. 
I actually met with mutual friends who does tarot reading and she asked if there's anything I needed to focus on or wanted some resolution around and I was like yes I'm honestly having anxiety about my baby and feeling disconnected now so we are going through the reading she basically is like you have a lot of masculine energy and if you guys have two children there is a boy spirit that would be connected to this girl spirit and that they are spirit grouping together and they've lived lives together in the past and they're meant to live life again together in the future, which is really cool. Hearing that and then hearing how this girl spirit is very individual, she wants to be seen as herself. She won't want to be compared to her parent. She wants to be her own being and that's what's going to help her become a beautiful addition to society as she gets older. And that really helped me to lean in more and recognize this is a good sign for me to take a step back. And a lot of what I do on a regular basis, I am in my masculine energy. I do have to carry a lot of willpower, achiever, doer responsibilities. But if I'm going to be my best self for me and the baby, there has to be both. There has to be the duality. I have to bring more feminine into my life again. So I've been doing that. That's something I hope to teach other people out there is how do you balance the male and the female energy? We have both. Everybody has both. It's just a matter of do you allow the expression to come through? And I know it's hard for a lot of not only women to tap into their feminine, but for men to tap into their feminine and to feel their emotions and not be stoic all the time and not stonewall or hide their true nature or be afraid to be loved or seen. And those are actually stemming from a mother wound potential. These are things that I'm learning in the first and second trimester for sure. I had to release a lot in first trimester and second trimester, I feel like I've been more emotional in some good and some not so good ways. But I've also been able to better balance my energies. I've been able to go to the gym and feel great. But then there's days I decide not to go to the gym if I don't feel good. And honoring those parts of me has been extremely beneficial. And so far, the baby's doing good. We'll find out for sure. I've got a midwife appointment coming up. Just keep showing up, keep learning, make time every day to get out of your rut, get out of the monotony so that you can recognize the things that you've been ignoring or putting off. And I'm excited for what's to come in third trimester.